Right, the next project um, today is a PSP. I bought myself a PSP with the um, purpose of modding it and putting a load of emulators on it. But like every handheld thing that you get before, you gotta give it a good wash. So I already started, there's loads of clips online on how to do this stuff, but basically it's got one screw here, two, three, four, under this warranty void thing, it's the fifth one, then you got two small ones here, bam bam. Once you remove these, this pops off. The only clip that it has is this one, but I just used one of these phone dismantling tools to open it. It comes off and then these buttons are here, like that. This filthy joystick is there, like that. And then this comes in like that, with this thing on top. Then these smaller buttons yeah, are the start select buttons, blah, blah blah, you take them off. You still have this microphone thingy but it's glued in there and I'm just gonna leave it like that. See all this filth, this needs to go. <coughs> right, the display stays in here. You first have to remove this menu start stop uh, button array to do that you have to remove this part this part has one screw there that catches this also and it just clips out you kinda have to force it out don't worry it's got clips everywhere one two three four five so it pops out Alright, and this is where I am now. A problem that I have is this joystick somehow keeps keeps switching itself to down, down, down. So I'll have to remove it and clean it. Uh, for this is the memory card and this the left, right buttons. To remove them, you have this stopper here and then my guess is the button just pops out yes it does this one needs to be washed I got myself one of these uh, micro dual micro SD to MS really useful and it works like a charm alright now for the rest of the buttons you have clips here so you just take this off and then pull it out, pull this wire out, and now for as for this button, I'm guessing it's stuck there. Yeah, it's it's stuck there. So when you remove it, make sure you don't. Destroy it. So I'm just gonna use one of these things. Yeah, that works. All right, so that's off. This is the speaker with the oh fuck, but it comes off. Ooh, thought I broke it there. Right, so this is the speaker and. joystick and the memory stick assembly ish alright so that's off and the build quality of this is so I don't want to say cheap but it kind of is now, as for the joystick, 
I can see one screw here. And that's it. And I guess this is the wire from the joystick. I'll clip and push it out. And that's that. This is it. I'm going to dismantle it and clean it inside because I don't like it going down all the time in games. Alright, that's there. Now to remove this switch array. Up, 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 like that. And then just pull them out. There we go. Okay, that's with the joystick here. Alright. It's annoying that these are stuck to it. It's really annoying. Let's remove the power connector. This device is pretty cool, it charges with USB also, it doesn't really need this power connector. It's got Wi-Fi. Does not have Bluetooth, but 2011, hey. But it's a pretty cool device, I think, with PSP. I really wanted one of these in 2011, but I wasn't too much of a gamer to justify buying it. But nowadays I spend 40 pounds on it. That's not bad at all. So annoying that they're stuck here. So annoying. Let's remove the other button. That's here. That's here. I really hope this is not going to wreck the buttons. Like the button mechanism.
of that stuff. Okay, now the speaker. Needs to be clipped on this little thingy here. See if I go ahead and do that. It comes up. Sweet. Right now it's the motherboard. We've got one thing here. I don't know. The, ah, yeah, that's the laser mechanism. Okay, and one thing here. Like that. And now, hmm, it pops off. Sweet. There it is. And this is the PSP. Sweet. Now to remove this around thing. I really want to wash everything because handheld devices are really disgusting. I mean, look. It needs a wash. This can be washed also. I wonder if yes I can. I can remove it. And this. Okay, yeah, see what I mean? I don't know what that is. But so let's wash it. GTA. Now I see four screws. So I just want to three and four, but how do I get to them? Well, this is how this comes off. And then it's got clips here and there. button comes off also. What's intriguing is how to remove this thing. So I can take these two screws off from here. What about the other ones? I guess it's something to do with this. this thing. Uh, I'm gonna go online and see. Yeah, so I figured out how to take out the door. You kinda have to twist it in the middle and take it off from this end. I broke mine, so <coughs> I'll have to super glue this back in. That's that's the bit that broke, so I'll have to glue it back into the to the casing. It kind of stays, but not too happy about that, really. Yeah, see, that's how it looks. So with the door free, you can just take it off these thingies, and now you have access to the screws. get in there and take this 
mini disk mechanism out. UMDs look super familiar. If you ever worked with mini disks? These might be the same. It even has the same thing. I think Sony just changed the the casing for them. This shit comes off. Right. Yeah, so that's off. This is off. That's it for the minute. Is See the mirror is straight in. Surprised it still works, really. So here's the parts from the washery. I'll dry them up and reassemble. The reassembly process is the opposite of the disassembly process. So that should be it. Alright, so for this joystick thing to open it, my guess is it's these clips right here, and then it should come off. Just like that. Tiny stuff I need, like a blade. This is actually a dual potentiometer. There's nothing really special about this. Alright, so I'll clean these with some contact cleaner, put it back, and that should be it. Okay, so it's all done. Nice and clean. No more filth. Um, I found that if you have pop sockets, it kind of helps with how you hold it which is great because if you hold it like this your fingers are gonna ache especially mine I don't know maybe I have big hands I don't know but a pop socket really helps so everything works everything's cool the UMD works the display is clean now I like it